After having one of the most action-packed days of his life, Bartholomew has finally gotten another day's rest, surviving one more day. Anyways everyone, welcome to Project Zomboid. Bartholomew here has survived for 71 days, killing 176 zombies. And our big goal today is to reach the school in West Point in order to get a whole bunch of learning books. I have no idea if we're going to reach it, by the way, because it is only 11.40 a.m. and killing zombies takes up a lot of time. But I would like to see how far, you know, we can get. We're doing all right. We are not infected. Matter of fact, our laceration is not healed. It's infected, but that's just a simple wound infection that I can rebandage. Yeah, I'm very lucky that I didn't get infected last episode. What's not so lucky is the fact that there's a very, very thick mist outside to, you know, really screw up my day. Yeah, no, there's no way in hell I'm going out with this kind of visibility. So it looks like we're going to be rotting indoors for a little while longer doing burpees or whatever to pass the time. Oh, and by the way, I spent the last night inside of this house washing off Bart and doing a little bit of exercise, so we no longer have blood on us. And it looks like we're gonna be working out for a little while longer. Though I will give it like two hours, just in case it clears up quickly. Okay, there we are. It cleared up after three hours, which means we are finally ready to leave. Now, our original spear pit is still pretty far, you know, back into West Point, if I look right over there. And I want to move up another one a little bit closer to the school. So before I do anything in terms of combat or looting, I'm going to go scout out the road down this way here. And hopefully we will find another suitable location to drop another one of those bad boys, potentially driving up our vehicle as well. We're gonna pull out our walking cane and we're gonna take it real easy. If we see any more than three zombies coming in after us, we will run all the way back. So far though, it looks pretty clear. Let's hope it stays that way. It surprisingly has, for the most part, because there is one yellow shirted imbecile right there. But looking around, I think this is gonna be a pretty good candidate for the next spear pit location. It's right next to a graveyard, which is very thematic in my opinion, and there's enough lawn around the area so I can lose zombies relatively quickly. Let's go drive down the van. And that's gonna be Spear 20. I will say, it takes quite the while to grab all of these and set it up, but I guess it kind of balances out because it's a very good, you know, safety net to have, especially in this apocalypse. It is 6.50 p.m., so I am not gonna risk it too much, but I will check out maybe a little bit up ahead. Also, that spear never existed that was in my hand. That was extremely weird. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's two zombies right up there, actually, for me to kill. One of them boasting a leather jacket, which is something that I'm a big fan of. Okay, let's hope that we don't screw up the juggling this time, like last time. There it is. That's the kind of feedback I look for. Boom. Easy peasy. Yeah, no, it's insane how quickly I can go from Team Spear to Team Screw Spears, but that one experience was all it took for me to be using long or short blunt weapons now. Boom, we got a leather jacket, which is gonna increase our protection to almost 95% on my good stuff. Holy hell, we are one protected dude. Okay, cool. Let's go follow the road down and see if I can, you know, clear out some more stragglers before I call it quits for the night. After four zombies killed, I would say that was a pretty good time expenditure. It's really scaring me, just, man, I, I was expecting to, like, kill at least a hundred at this point, but looking around the area, we might just be able to walk to the school for the most part. So yeah, I'm probably gonna hold off on making another spear wall until I see, like, tangible amounts of zombies that I can't just, you know, juggle and kill, uh, smartly. Yeah, I am gonna head back all the way past the church, though, and loot the house that I haven't touched yet, which is gonna be bop, 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 
right there. I don't think I looted that, but I did mark it down on accident. Worst case scenario, we sleep there for the night. Anyways, it's time for my favorite part of the day, looting. What do we got? We have welding rods, a small metal sheet, cooking, metalworking volume one. That's actually huge. We have a black vehicle right over here with an eraser and a tarp. There also seems to be mechanics volume two, some spaghetti bologna, which I'll eat right now, which I will eat right now. There's also strength volume two intermediate. That would have been so helpful to have before. Electrician volume five, another screwdriver, a black electric guitar, which is terrible because of how heavy it is, a pencil, and in these final two rooms, we have a first aid kit. Uh, actually kind of big for the disinfectant. It doesn't really, you know, do much for me because infections in Zomboid aren't that big of a deal at all. Oh, cool. My lacerations actually healed. And in here, we have a single rubber ducky with some antibiotics and a bandage. Okay, cool. We've cleared it out. Let's wash ourselves off with the bathtub and I will see all of you tomorrow on day 72. Bartholomew is still overweight, but one more day of weight loss and we will finally lose it. It's actually such a big moment for me, I would say, because as soon as we lose it, our endurance recovery basically increases by like 30%. On top of it, we will look fantastic. On top of it, we will have less chances to trip over fences and a whole bunch of other small, you know, helpful trinkets. It still is extremely foggy out, so I'm gonna wait inside just for a little bit while longer. Maybe I'll go read the book until it clears up a tiny bit. There we are. Holy heck, did that fog last for a long time, though. It took about like five hours, but we did get about halfway through Metalworking Volume 1. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. I should also clean up the bandages, and we will honestly kill more zombies and just walk down the road. There's not much else to do right now, other than find food. I think there might be a small office within the church that I could check out. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah, no, there's nothing here. Okay, our next target is gonna be the residential house with a garage. Come on now, there's gotta be food in here. Matter of fact, I see a can right there. Okay, cool. Let's not rush in, because there is a good chance that there's a zombie waiting to jump me at a moment's notice. We'll take it slow, calm and cool, and as soon as we do that, then I will feel confident enough to enter. Actually, looking from here, it looks pretty clear. Let's enter. Oh, hold on here, is what I would say if I didn't see two zombies right down there asking for a good old wallopin. Come on, you two, let's make this quick, or you could just walk into the trees. If you're not bothering anyone, I'll let you live for a little bit, as I'm too busy trying to find food. Okay, what's actually on that table now? Uh, chili. Perfect. Yeah, let's pop it open right now and just guzzle that stuff down. Delicious. On top of that, we have a rotten pot of stew, olive oil, graham crackers. Give me those. Yummy, yummy. Maple syrup? Oh, yo, that's good. We also got some sugar here that I'll just eat straight up, raising my blood sugar levels to astronomical amounts, and that's it. Okay, cool. Is there any weapons in here? No, just a juice box. Delicious. There's gotta be some other small things around here, though. Like a belt, foraging volume two, mechanics volume three, a small chisel, which I can use for woodworking. That might be huge, because I can craft up makeshift weaponry like clubs, and I'm pretty sure we can even make a baseball bat. Let's see here. Boom. Okay, we need two out of six carpentry. We're not there yet. Maybe there's something in the garage, though? Oh, it's look who decided to show up late to the party. Sorry, your friends are dead. Anyways, it's time for the garage, in which I will need to bash it down. I don't have anything for that, actually. Yeah, no, I won't be seeing what's in there for a bit. It's fine, it's probably nothing. It is 5.40 p.m. I am a little bit tired, so let's take it a lot more calm and cool. I will see if I can reach one more home, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, never mind. That's as far as we're going today. We are now normally tired, so our combat ability has been effectively halved. Overall, we got another house to our name. We can sleep inside there. And yeah, progress is progress. How much farther do we need to go? Um, not too far, actually. Yeah, we should be able to uh, pump this out in like two more episodes. For now, Bartholomew's getting a big old night's rest. In the relatively secure confines of a well-defended room. There it is. Surprisingly, after another day's rest, Bartholomew is no longer overweight. Holy hell. Okay, before I do anything else then, I do need to wash off my character because I forgot to wash off the blood and we are now a nervous wreck. But more importantly, I am going to restart the game and oh wait, nope, it just it just popped up. Holy hell. Look at Bard in the character menu. If that isn't character development, I don't know what is. Okay, time for the moment of truth, everyone. Let's take off the denim shirt. Let's take off the jacket. And I will see if we are shredded. Come on, Bart. This is huge for you. Let's see those gains. Man, I have so much armor on so many damn layers. Alrighty, though. Moment of truth. Holy hell. Bart actually has a six-pack back there. That's not just, um, body hair. Damn, Bart. Damn. All right, all right. That's actually huge. This is the kind of development I wanted to see. We are now strong. Well, we're not strong, but we're stout and fit. Dang! I need to shave off our character at this point. I mean, I feel like we ditched the beard, you know, and we actually get like a shorter cut going on after everything we've been through. It only took 70 days as well, so first things first, let's pop on our million layers, drop off the tie, and go wash ourselves off. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! With the new, clean clothing, Bart looks 10 times more presentable. It's actually extremely weird seeing him, like, so thin after, like, you know, quite literally, like, I would say a dozen, more than a dozen hours of him slowly losing the weight. Remember, we started this challenge off at the max possible threshold of weight. And after 70 full days of losing the weight with the minus chevron, we have finally reached a normal point. A normal starting point. Are there any zombies here? No. Let's try to make it to the residential areas. Not after pulling in our car a little bit further, just in case it hits the fan. Okay, right here is good anymore and it is uncharted territory i do remember there being a big oh my speaking about big groups of zombies hey boys come over here real quick yeah the lot of you yep right here come on there it is we got like three on us right now that's still good enough for the spear that's exactly why i prepared for the spear traps by the way oh yeah it's a good day oh hopefully i make it though how close are they to oh my god they're, they're they're coming in quick okay keep up the tempo buddy if it hits the fan and they get into my peripheral, I can go into super mode. And by super mode, I mean sprint mode. Like absolute lemmings. Boom. Let's repeat that a few more times and we will succeed. Oh man, that was a, that was very close. That was extremely close. What the hell? Okay, that's a lot more than I was expecting. I was not expecting the northern zombies to just to jump me either. Oh my heart. It's a good thing I leveled up sprinting before I went off on this quest. All right, spear traps are here. I am a little bit worried we don't have enough. I am crossing my fingers, begging and pleading. If there's not, we run. Anyways, step right on in, just like that. Yep, 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 beautiful, perfect. Let's see those kills. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, keep on. Keeping it up. Keeping it up. Whew, okay. We did it. We did it. That's like 20 zombies down just like that. I'm going to go pick up the car and I'm going to go restock the uh, spears. Yeah, no. Or maybe I'll set one up in this field over here. There is a group down there, so let's kill them first. Yeah, let's set it up in the field. Holy hell, what are these zombie skulls made out of? All right, uh, how's our hammer looking? It definitely took a beating there. I'm at like max strength as well, but we're about halfway through our hammer's durability. 
Oh, man, if you really keep them up, they will eat blows like no tomorrow. Come on, get knocked over. Thank you very much. Nice. Are we clear? We are clear. We are actually not. That's another, like, 20 zombies. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to kill the majority of them the good old-fashioned way. Let's see if I can get a small group and lead them back to our first spear line, though. Come on, just like five, please, any more and I will cry. Like clockwork, that's three more down. I am gonna go rest up at the church here to get my stamina, and we should be able we should be able to finish the rest of them off. Woo hoo! This is not easy work now. We have finally reached, like, the population threshold, it seems. And now it's gonna be downhill from here on out. Worst case scenario, I can head back to my base and restock on supplies and spears. For now, we have more than enough to continue our journey just a little bit further. Let's try to get the rest of them in one by one now. Or in groups of twos, though even the groups of twos, I don't feel too confident in. Having higher strength truly pays off. Oh man, you know, it's still all RNG based whether you push the damn zombie down or not, but having higher chances at higher levels really helps out when two sprinters are coming in at you all at once, you know? I think there's one more zombie, a part of this big group, and then I'm gonna back up my van and drop down our next pit of death. These spear traps have and are going to continue to save my life, man. We set it up, we did get tired though, and we are a little bit hungry, so I think it's finally time for us to head back all the way home. I am gonna leave my van out here though, and I'm just gonna go the good old fashioned way down. Oh, also, while we're going down, I am going to grab that one crowbar I saw before as well. Even if I said it was low condition, uh, it's a crowbar, so it should last, like, longer than my average hammer, you know? Yeah, I think it was in this home here, actually. Okay, never mind, it wasn't in here. That is a light bulb, not a crowbar. Dang, I wonder where it went. I'll look around a little bit more. At the very least, I can wash my character off. Ah, no, it was actually in the home we were resting up in for a few days. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm glad I just found it, you know. Also, inside of this place, we do have some more food that I can chomp on. We're gonna have canned tomatoes and canned spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. And with that, we sleep another day. After doing a little bit of working out, of course. Do you remember the 21st night of September? I sure as hell will, as it's today. Anyways, we slept for another day, and I will say, looking at Bartholomew's trait list, I definitely feel like we lost a few negative, like, perks, right? The only problem is I don't know what I started with. Ah, you know what I lost? I lost hearty appetite and high thirst, because we aren't overweight anymore. Oh, that is actually so cool. I think we did lose one more but I have no idea what it is. But yeah, we are actively improving our character, slowly and surely. G surprisingly, I am still a smoker. It's been like 73 days. That might stick with me for the rest of my life. But hey, we're strong, we're fit, and we're ready to kill some more zombies. And that's really the only thing I have in mind today. We're gonna run down, maybe kill one more pack of zombies to reach this home, not there, not there, but there, and then we will have a big neighborhood of trouble waiting for me. There's also a small shack there that I might want to check out as well. Overall progress though, it's going. Oh, 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 hello there, that's a big group of zombies. Let's see, how many is there, five? Oh, six. Oh man, seven? No way there's seven. Yeah. 
that group of zombies right there is the exact reason on why I can't, like, relax in this challenge. All it takes is one of those groups, like, maneuvering up into, like, a house somewhere, and I am a sitting duck. Anyways, the, the, the shack that we wanted to reach is right down there, and I don't see any other zombies to try and harass me while I go loot this bad boy. Matter of fact, it looks like they smashed the windows in for me. Well, ain't that peachy of them, huh? I guess what matters, though, is if there's anything actually in here. We have thread. A box of nails. Really, that's it, huh? Magazines. A round point shovel, so I will use that as a weapon. Some more sugar, which I will absolutely devour right now, and that's it. Okay, cool. It looks like we're gonna be using the shovels for a bit. How's my crowbar looking? A little worse for wear. Honestly, I don't like it being so low because of how much we need to juggle zombies. If that breaks mid-zombie juggle, we are gonna die. So I think we're only gonna be using, you know, mint condition weapons. Anyways, our spear trap is right down there, and we have a small group of four right over here. Yeah, nice one, idiots. <laughs> Maybe in another life. Man, you can tell night and day how different the Bartholomew now is from the first episode. We were able to kill like 12 zombies with an extremely heavy shovel, just like that. I mean, we did rely on four uses of the spear trap, but aside from that, man, that was all power from us, you know? The good old fashioned muscle power. We have killed 222 zombies with it. And I think this is gonna be a good spot to end the episode. We cleared out the majority of them down over here, as I no longer see any big group. And of course, it is just the beginning with this place. Well, I'm gonna save it for next time. We are very close to the school, so it's gonna take a little bit more time. But I think with our muscle power and heading back to our original base for spears, we can pull it off. I'm going to end things off right here, right here in this field. So if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you tomorrow on whether I head over to the school finally or run away with the tail tucked between my legs to grab more supplies at the mansions. Whichever way it goes, I'm sure Bart's going to have a good time. Peace the hell out, everyone.